It's safe to say there's been quite a few IQ checks these past few weeks. Obviously, the first one is believing any of this absolute bullshit. I would say 90 to 95% of the population failed that first check. The second IQ check is going to get tested for this. And yeah, the people that don't believe in it probably aren't going to get tested. But have you guys seen this test? Beats and bros. Yeah, how wacko dacko cracko is that? It's so obvious to anyone with half a brain that they're trying to infect people with an invasive swab. There's no way you need to go that high in the nasal cavity to get a tissue sample. It's like they're excavating your brain tissue where to install a microchip. I wouldn't trust these demons with inserting anything into my body. I don't even want to donate blood anymore. I used to donate blood you know, as often as I could, now I'm scared to go into any medical facility. It seems as if they put something on that swab with how they're testing. You know, if you're trying to take a biopsy, you don't have to let it sit in the person's nose and twist it around. If you just go in there and swab the tissue, you're good to go. But if you're trying to infect someone, you might want to ensure that that infectious pathogen, you know, stays there a little while long enough to take hold, you twist it around a bit, make the person bleed, smear it in there, get that you know blood connection going for the viral infection. So that was a test done on someone in public. What we can assume is a regular test for this virus. What's interesting is when the person is on TV, things suddenly change. Doctor. Oh, hello, Denim. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. Please take a seat. So this is the COVID swab. This will go into your nose and to the back of your throat. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Let's we go. do one in each nostril. I think you'll agree that's really unpleasant. Oh, you really get in there. And just to prove you're enjoying yourself. You give me the other one as well. And the second one as well. And he is the ideal candidate. Oh. Most people scream and run around the room. <laughs> so of these swabs, yep. you've had around 50 patients and they've all come back negative. Yes. Why is the doctor so gentle and less invasive on TV with the news reporter? Yet the general public, the average person, is getting skewered like they were trying to shove bugs up our noses to alter our brain function. The amount of painfully obvious red flags is starting to make me think that the powers at B have done an excellent job. They have successfully lowered the IQ of the population through poor diet and lifestyle, spraying chemicals, blasting us with electromagnetic weaponry, to the point where the average person can't achieve anything in life beyond basic pleasantries. But the real kicker to this second IQ test is they literally publicized the test kits have been contaminated with the virus. You, you can't, you can't make it, oh my god, I can't, it's, it's too ridiculous. I, I got, I'm just gonna give up. Coronavirus test kits have been contaminated with coronavirus, says report. One of those suppliers, the Luxembourg-based firm Eurofins, that has told British labs some of the components have been contaminated. It's not clear exactly how the contamination was allowed to happen, but government health sources told the newspaper it shouldn't cause a big delay. What do you mean it shouldn't cause a big delay? Why are you still purchasing test kits from a company that told you, oh my God, and it's not just them. CDC failed coronavirus tests were tainted with coronavirus, feds confirm. As the new coronavirus took root across America, the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention sent states tainted test kits in early February that were themselves seeded with the virus. Federal officials have confirmed. Contamination at CDC labs reportedly caused weeks of delays in rolling out coronavirus test kits to states that needed them. An FDA spokesperson told CNN the CDC broke protocol by making the test in their laboratories 
rather than in a manufacturing facility, which exposed the test to cross-contamination. The Washington Post first reported the FDA had to help sort out issues with the test in mid-February, as the CDC wasn't sure what was causing the test to be ineffective. While the testing was fixed within days of the FDA's intervention, the many weeks of delays prevented a widespread rollout of testing in the early days of the pandemic. Only about 1% of the U.S. has been tested, and that lack of testing is complicating efforts to ease shelter-in-place restrictions. A CDC spokesperson said the Department of Health and Human Services is investigating the matter. So if you see these articles and you still get tested, you probably deserve to be thrown on a ventilator, bagged up, and tagged so the hospital can collect that sweet, sweet federal moolah. How the hell are people not calling for the CDC to be disbanded? This is criminal. This is preposterous. There's no words that can describe this. What I can't get past is why. Why would they intentionally publicize the infection of these test kits when all other information speaking out against the virus is censored? Why do you want people to not get tested? The reason you would publicize a news article like this, you know, that test kits are infected to the average person has to be that that you don't want people to be tested. And this actually makes sense because their plan revolves around the control of the media. Hospitals aren't busy. They don't have staff and resources for mass testing. They don't want to actually set up the infrastructure for testing as it would be very difficult and it would compromise their illusion. You know, to make something that fake to have millions and millions of paid actors, it's not possible. So I have a few thoughts on this. One, the virus is less harmful than the flu. I mean. Let's not get into if people can even catch this from other people or if it's real. Let's say it is. If the tests were legitimate and not contaminated, if everything's legit, then the numbers would not justify shutting down the world. Two, if there is no virus and they want to contaminate people that are getting tested, it's going to be obvious as, you know, the only people with the virus were the ones that got tested. Uh, three, the more people involved, the harder it is to create that illusion. If you put contaminated test kits in the hands of millions of healthcare workers, or just have you know that many people involved in something that's not truthful, you know someone's going to speak up, at least hopefully. Johnson joins us now. Wait, I saw a commercial the other day. We're saying that you could get testing kits shipped to you anywhere but in New York, and of course we so critically need them uh, here. And we've seen how the shortage in testing kits has become a political issue, but now that Governor Cuomo is rolling out a new plan in New York. Tell us about that. Absolutely, Lindsay. Governor Cuomo says nothing like this has ever been done before. He wants to double the state's testing capacity from 20,000 to 40,000 tests per day. And he says President Trump, in their meeting at the White House yesterday, agreed to use the power of the federal government to get labs the testing supplies they need. Lindsay. Whit Johnson for us in New York. Thanks so much, Whit. then stuff like that is still being broadcast in the news. This makes absolutely zero sense. What's the term they use? Order from chaos. Spread as much disinformation, as much truth, as much information as possible to let people attempt to put the puzzle together as opposed to them realizing who's in control and not playing with said puzzle. The point of any discussion moving forward has to be how we're going to take back the power that the Constitution was meant to instill in the American people. With all of these lies and fake news, we have no choice but to take things into our own hands and tell these sick, psycho fucks how we want to live our lives. The immediate concerns are the Wi-Fi weaponry being set up and possible plans to eliminate everyone who is aware of the agenda. You know, overall concerns are the pollution of our air, food, and water supply to make us weak, sick, and stupid. So if you guys could please share this video, maybe help convince some people to come over to the right side, the side of humanity. You know, of course, you know, like the video, leave a comment down below for Frankie Boy, subscribe so that you can be unsubscribed shortly. Uh, if you want to support me further, there's a bunch of stuff down in the comments below. Definitely subscribe to my newsletter on frank-stefano.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Hope you're doing okay.